Once you add an MCP that can perform web searches, you'll be able to use it right inside the chat interface here, as well as through the new OpenAI Compatible Responses API launched by the LM Studio team in October 2025. When you ask a question that needs up-to-date information, your local LLM will automatically use the tools provided by the web search MCP to pull results from the internet. In this video, we're going to cover both methods, whether you are a beginner looking for a quick setup or a developer wanting to use MCPs via API on LM Studio. This guide's got you covered. There are two web search MCPs that I've found to be the easiest to set up, the Tavali MCP and the Brave Search MCP. Signing up and setting up Tavali is simpler since it doesn't require payment verification, unlike Brave Search's free tier. In this video, we'll be using the Tavali Web Search MCP as our example, but the setup process for Brave Search is almost identical. You can find all the details, code snippets, and MCP configurations for both options on my blog. The link's down in the description. First, let's set up the MCP using the LM Studio app so you can use it within the chat interface. Later, we'll go over how to start the LM Studio web server and use the MCP tools through the new OpenAI Compatible Responses API. Let's jump in. Before anything else, make sure to check your LM Studio version. I'm using version 0.3.30. If you want to use MCPs with LM Studio's OpenAI Compatible Responses API, you'll need version 0.3.29 or later. Once you've opened the app, switch to developer or power user mode. That's the only way you'll be able to add MCPs. Developer mode also gives you more advanced tools inside the chat interface. In the chat tab, click show settings, then go to install and select edit MCP JSON. Paste your MCP configuration there. I've left it in the description for you to copy. Make sure to replace the API key with your own and no, you can't use mine. Just kidding. After saving it, LM Studio will set up the MCP for you. It should only take a few seconds and then you'll see it listed on the right-hand side. Go ahead and enable it. You'll now see all the tools available to your local LLMs. You can toggle them on or off individually. Let's test it out. Create a new chat and make sure you pick a model that supports tool use for best results. Look for the hammer icon in the model repository. That means it's tool capable. Models with at least 8 billion parameters and reasoning abilities can use MCP tools effectively. I'm going to select the QN38B model. If your model is not working properly with tool use, try to increase the context window from here, make it at least 16K, and then check. Models, especially the reasoning ones, consume plenty of tokens, especially with MCPs. Make sure the Tavali MCP is toggled on at the bottom. Now I'll type... What's the current stock price of Apple? You'll see the model's thinking traces, and then it'll start calling the tool. You can even see the exact search query the model used. And there we go, it's got the answer. Next, let's learn how to start the LM Studio server and use the MCP tools through the new OpenAI Compatible Responses API. Head back to the Developer tab and make sure Developer Mode is still turned on. Now just toggle this switch. Open Settings and toggle this one too. That's it. Your local LLM is now ready to receive API requests with MCP support. Here's what the request looks like. This Python script sends a request to your local AI model server running on localhost 1234. It uses the latest OpenAI compatible API from LM Studio. The script tells the QN38B model to find the current Apple stock price. In the JSON payload, the Tools section connects the model to an external MCP server that can perform web searches. Once the model replies, the script prints out the generated result. Now let's go ahead and run the script in the terminal. And that's all it takes. You'll see the full event log as it runs. You can also check the back-end logs directly in the LM Studio app. Again, if your model is not working properly with tool use, try to increase the context window as discussed in the earlier sections. Finally, I just want to mention that the Responses API gives you fine-grained control over things like reasoning level and streaming responses. I've included a reasoning example using a curl command. You'll find it on my blog, linked below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to support the channel. We'll keep posting awesome content about local LLMs and how to make the most of them. Thanks for watching.